How would you assess the earnings period for the third quarter? I mean, A plus, right? We've seen uh, beats across the board. We're up, uh, I think, 70% of companies that beat earnings estimates. And, you know, we have an acceleration of earnings going into next quarter and even into next year. And what was, I think, more remarkable about this quarter is margins improved a lot. Like, they're over 13 percent, which means that companies are getting more efficient. And I think a lot of that has to do with the, the whole AI trade. And I've said this for a long time. Like, every company now is an artificial intelligence company because everyone's using it to add to their productivity. And I think that's going to be, like, one of the big themes moving forward is we're going to become even more productive, more efficient over the next couple of years, which makes me very optimistic on the outlook for the economy. I mean, look at that market yesterday, up huge. I know you said you got to get in this market even before Election Day the other day when, when you were on with us. Good call there. Prescient. market was up 1,500 points on the Dow Industrials. How do you read into it? Have we missed the move, or should we be still putting new money to work in the stock market? It's a great question because I think a lot of investors between a rock and a hard place. We always talk about that $6.5 trillion sitting in money market funds, and if the Fed continues to cut, which I think they should against better judgment, if you want my opinion on that, they're going to be like, where do I put my money now? And you see all-time record highs now in the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. It's like, do I funnel my money in there? I would say, don't do it. Diversify elsewhere. There's lots of places that are just starting to move. Like small caps went up 5% yesterday, but they're not even at their all-time record high. Um, if you look at anything that's uh, energy-related, they're off their highs right now. Um, you know, there's lots of places to allocate capital where valuations are lower. Um, you get great dividends right now. That's not the Magnificent Seven. That's not the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And I think that's the mistake a lot of investors make. Dividend players or utilities, energy, what else? Where do you want to get a dividend? I mean, I think you can even go globally now. We just talked about the global markets. Okay. They're growing at 3% now as well. And you're getting like a 3 4% yield. And places like India are growing at 7%. Wow. Brazil's growing at 3%. So I think you want to have a global portfolio also to diversify against the dollar. If mm. deficit spending continues the way it's going and the Fed continues to cut interest rates while the market's heating up or the economy's heating up, that could be problematic for the dollar as well.